vlog of Japan and Yokohama. I'll be narrating it today with my sister and her friend. Hey, so where are you right now? This is Chinatown. Kind of ironic, I was in Chinatown in Japan. The food here was really good, which I'm gonna show you guys in a second. Love the fit. Thank you. I felt very American in it. Oh, I saw the viral Shaolong Pao. That's huge. You can drink the soup. It didn't really appeal to me much, but a lot of people like it. This chicken was the best chicken I've ever had. It's Taiwanese fried chicken. Ooh. It was really good. Very juicy. I love thin, crispy chicken, so if you're a fan of that, you'll love it. Is it like karaage? Kinda, just like thinner. Very thin. The Jean Bao, um, sorry to say, was kind of average. It wasn't the best thing I've tasted in the world, but it was very good. Was it crispy on the bottom? It was. Or it was supposed to be. It wasn't that crisp. It was like it was a good amount. Kind of reminded me of gyoza. I think this one burned my mouth a little. Definitely burned my mouth. Compare this to Din Tai Fung. Um, Din Tai Fung all the way. Sorry. This was delicious. It's like a light, um, very light, fluffy shaved ice. Strawberry food? Yeah, it was like strawberry kind of milk, and instead of like just regular ice, it was like milky ice. So, like, it kind of had flavor itself. More food. What, what is this one? Um, it's like a shawl ball mix with, I think, the regular pork, shrimp, and shark. It was really hard to eat in one bite. Very good. I like this one a lot better than the other one. What is this? This is like a fortune telling thing you could do. And it's like based on your astrology and it gives you a little fortune chart. <laughs> what for what's your fortune? I kinda of forgot. Oh. I think it was pretty it was like pretty good. Okay. If it was bad, I think I would have remembered because I'm really paranoid. And usually in Japan if you don't like your fortune, you tie it to this string. Oh wait, I thought you tie it when you do like it. No, if you like it, you, you keep, keep it. it. You like put it in your wallet. Oh, I tied all mine when I was there. Well, there's no harm in that. I I was um, make a little gift shop. Chicken, but no. Did you get this? <laughs> no, I was playing with it for a while though. Guess the song. Jingle bell. Yeah. yeah. Oh, <laughs> Our mom didn't get it. I'm just staring at the poop pen in the back. I got the poop card. Oh, I'm, I'm the poop one. Aww. It's kind of <laughs> cute, but also it's ugly. It's kind of <laughs> creepy. <laughs> no, I could see the cute. <laughs> what is this? This is um, a little like. It's not a gamble, but it's just like you pick one and you get a prize. There's different levels for the prizes. I accidentally took two. I should have made sure I didn't get both. And you can win a pa panda item. I got the lowest one. So I just got like an inflatable panda um, item. Oh, it wasn't even a plushie that you got? No, it was like an inflatable. Oh, that's kind of cute. <laughs> Was it really rainy? It was like it was like really rainy in the beginning, but it was honestly sprinkling throughout. Everything's like panda themed here. So much panda. I don't really like pandas. 
I so, really get hate for that. Yeah. If you like pandas, make sure you check out Chinatown in Yokohama, Japan. This place was so cool. Oh, the my, ramen museum. Yeah, my sister went here, but she didn't tell me how cool it was. I did tell you. But just like, don't remember. Yeah, I don't. But it was really cool. If you're into like the history of Japan, I think you should go because um, we'll show you later. But there's a place where it shows you like um, how old towns in Japan look like, and this is what old ramen stands used to look like, which is what they served ramen in. We got to customize our own ramens um, and make soup and the filling however we liked. Is that a picture of yourself? It, it's a picture of me and my three best friends. My friend's butt is out, so I was hiding it. Right. Oh wait, I feel like this is a different cup noodle museum from yeah. the one I went to. Isn't this so cool? It's like old Japan. Yeah, it's really cute. Yeah. It's definitely different, so that means there's two cup noodle museums in Yokohama. I asked mom if this is what her childhood looked like, and she said no. She got mad if she said it's in my grandma's era. Yeah, this is like a few, few, few years back. Lots of photo ops. Oh, you can see them tying the fortune again. There was like little back alleys and it looked like you were actually in a town. And there's a bunch of ramen areas everywhere. In the other cup noodle museum I went to, they had cup noodle flavored ice cream. Oh. Cool concept, disgusting flavor. You ate it? Yeah, I thought it was just like vanilla ice cream with like rice snacks that look like toppings but no it was actually like cup noodle seasoning in the vanilla soft serve and the oh, normal cup noodle topping on top of the soft serve oh, there were a lot of cute little photo ops oh, oh no, this is like cool Nikki. japanese snack yeah. shop I took pictures in that bow station. This is the ramen we <laughs> ate. It was very good. What kind of ramen did you get? I think I got the tonkotsu ramen because that's my favorite kind. Mm. Oh, oh, and there was a bunch of these and everyone was trying to get it. I got it for the first time ever. Wow. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching. Yay. I was so close.